I'm Paul Husinga. This is Jim Harrison. We're at Pertronics, and we're talking about something kind of interesting here. You guys have got a, almost a revolutionary take on the traditional capacitive discharge ignition box. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, you're right, Paul. We've been working on it for about a year and a half in product development. Uh, we've identified one of the issues uh, in the box business is that a lot of the boxes around the market are too big. Uh, there's no place to put them. Uh, you know, street rods, muscle cars, a lot of guys are trying to put them in places where it's easy to install. But we've built a box that's uh, basically 70% smaller than competitive boxes on the market. But more importantly, we, we also have put a lot more features into our box um, for the same price as some of the other boxes on the market, more features. And that really is basically in the, in the rev limiting area. Most of the boxes on the market only offer one uh, launch control rev limiter. We offer a launch control. Uh, we also offer a fatal over rev limiter. Uh, we have a RPM triggered activated switch where we can uh, turn on solenoids, shift the car, uh, uh, trans brake. Um, our box makes a lot of energy. Uh, that's another point. Uh, we are making 30% more energy than the other boxes on the market today. Um, we've tried to keep in mind easy wiring harnesses. We use a Molex connector, mm -hmm. uh, which is a real clean way to plug in. You have good wire retention so that you don't have any loose wires which can cause, you know, basically a ground to come loose or a car to shut off. And that's pretty hard to find if you're out at a cruise night. Uh, it's, uh, so we've got that and uh, uh, we're unique with our software. We um, are able to provide a uh, sparks all the way to Redline where all the other boxes on the market will give you multiple spark but only to about 3,000 RPM. Our box will provide multiple sparks all the way to Redline. Well, that's a pretty serious improvement. That's not something we've seen before, is it? Not that I'm aware of. Um, if it's out there, I haven't seen it. It's one of the reasons why we took a year and a half to do it. We've written a lot of proprietary code. We've had to work with vendors and suppliers to come up with the right components so that we can make a lot of energy in a small spot. Because heat is your problem with ignition systems, and we've been able to control that. Um, well, now that you've got a smaller form factor, that gives you more freedom to place this box somewhere where it's going to get enough air circulation away from hot exhaust components and things like that. Absolutely. Yeah, most ignition boxes shouldn't be in the engine compartment. They really shouldn't be. If you can mount them inside the firewall, uh, where like, if you look at a race car, they're not mounted in the engine compartment. Nope. And they really shouldn't be on a street car either. But this box is going to be comfortable in a race environment as well. Now, with all the features, I'm imagining that this thing is probably going to be really hard to set up. It's just going to be a pain to change stuff and... Not really. Uh, the manual that comes with it, it's very user friendly. It uses rotary dials that allow you to select modes. Uh, it's compatible with four, six, eight cylinder engines. Um, it has a, a diagnostic test function where you can actually verify your rev limits. Uh, you can verify the, uh, the, the start retard uh, that we also offer in the box for hard to start high compression engines. It's very, very user friendly. Well, I like that a lot because there's always that question of how do you test this thing and make sure that it's working right without actually, you know, risking hurting your engine by, you know, slinging it to, rev to red line. Yeah, that's the idea. We use an LED feedback system which tells the user everything's working fine, the diagnostics look good, now you can go run the car. All right, where can people go to find out more information about this or anything else that Pertronics offers? Well, we're really ahead of the curve. It's brand new. You're the first person that's seen it here at the show. Uh, but obviously, the Pertronics Performance Products website will have information. Uh, all your popular performance retailers and outlets. Uh, the product's going to be available uh, for shipment in February. Uh, we also have proprietary coils that we recommend to go with it. Uh, so the whole package should be coming together in the next 60 to 90 days for everybody. All right, hit us with that web address. Pertronics.com. Hey, that's easy to remember. Remember this, we got a whole bunch more coming at you from SEMA. Keep it right here.